Hello guys, today we're gonna play 1v1 in BFME1 on the patch 1.06, this time on the beautiful map to Unhero in a random mirror in which we are off host. And this time we get to play the Gondo faction. It's time for the legendary speech of Boromir, the captain of Gondo. For Gondo! For Gondo! For Gondo! All righty, we're gonna build up a blacksmith and a farm in our base and always recruit Peregrine Tuk, aka Pippin from the Titter. Wall check, and we are against a good faction, either against Gonzo or Rohan. And you know me guys, right? I like challenges a lot, and for that one, we're gonna challenge ourselves to build no stable this game, okay? No stable, no Gonda Knights, we're gonna only try to win with archers and heroes, okay? That's the plan. Okay, we're gonna use our hobbits to kill the goblins from the lair, and our soul is gonna be used for capturing those settlements at the top right side, and the other one at the top left side. And in the meantime, our hobbit is gonna clean those uh, goblins, goblins from the lair, and afterwards, our soldiers can join him and get the last hit to get level 2. Levels in BFME 1 are very important, trust me on that one. Okay, so buy this farm, and also the other farm at the top left side. And now those soldiers can actually join the Hobbit. We have also enough money for buying the settlement. I mean, wasting time is no good, by the way, in RTS games. Always be fast. Peregrine took. please make a move. I'm actually curious if you are playing against Gondor or Rohan. Um, it doesn't matter though, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's gonna be challenging to not play with Gondor Knights on a big map like this, because it's gonna be hard for us to keep the settlements protected, the farms outside, and also, we won't be able to pressure the opponent farm, so he will have a lot of money. Don't let those goblins close. But no challenge, no fun. So, yeah, like mentioned before, our soldiers are gonna join the Hobbit, and they're gonna be getting the last hit from the lair, which is very important, this way they're gonna hit level 2, okay? That's the plan. Let's build one more blacksmith in our base. And then, I think the first hero we're gonna recruit first is going to be Faramir, and we're gonna give Faramir the chance to show his quality. And after Faramir, we have a couple of options, we can try to save for Gandalf immediately, we can go for our outpost, make some arches, put them inside. We have many, many options, but again, we are gonna try to win this game without the stable, okay? No Gonda Knights, this game. Alright, Hobbit is level 3, just like that. Nice one. Get the money from the ground. I think now we're gonna save for Faramir. We are getting also money from the Leia, of course. Our Soldier is level 2, our Hobbit is level 3. That's gonna mean our Peregrine and Took is gonna hit like an absolute track. Faramir is gonna be the next choice. We have almost the money. 1,200 is needed for recruiting the captain of Gonzo. His brother on the other side, Boromir, is gonna cost us 1,600. So he's way more expensive. Okay, so now this is gonna be the next target. And we have now the money for Faramir. Let's get him on the field as soon as possible. We should be able to get this Leia, no big deal, because our soldiers are very, very strong at this point. Oh, we are also against Gonzo, okay. He was also able to creep, I see him, with the Hobbit and one soldier. But it's a 2v1 situation and also our Hobbit is level 3. Let's see if he can get the last hit from the lair, would be nice. Yes, we got the last hit and our Hobbit is now level 4. We can also use heal maybe in the worst case. Get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. Nice, we got one part of the money. Heal, there we go. Okay, Faramir can creep this troll there. And let's build more and more blacksmiths in our base. I think we're also gonna need the marketplace later on, because marketplace is gonna increase our resource income from the farms and blacksmiths a lot. Okay, we have to protect this farm, get mounted with the captain of Gonzo, and this way we can deal with those soldiers, no big deal, and keep our farm also protected. Okay, now we have really strong soldiers, okay, and also a very strong hobbit, Peregrine Took. And with that, also we can creep and fight for the map control a bit. Build more and more blacksmiths or farms. And we can now split the soldiers. One of them can go for the lair, and the other one can actually destroy this farm as soon as possible. Faramir, move some. Faramir, please. Show your quality already, Faramir. Okay. 
I mean, please, kill him now. <laughs> this guy doesn't want to, you know, he's only listening to his daddy Denethor, okay? He doesn't want to listen to me. Now we can move Faramir down to creep this Rolea at the bottom left side. And also build up a well for the sustain. And the last spot in the base can be saved for something like a marketplace. Marketplace is very underrated because it's very expensive. You need to build it for 1,500. And, you know, the upgrades on the marketplace are also very expensive, but I think it's worth it. Kill the troll first. This Leia is going to be captured by us, no problem. We have almost the money for the marketplace. We have right now one, two, three, four farms under our control, and we have also farms inside the base, so we should be in a good spot. Bonding Arrow should be able to finish him off. There we go. Level 6 Peregrine took, by the way. Very, very strong. And now we have enough money for the marketplace. Let's go for that. And let's clip let's creep this troll here, shall we? Over here. Okay. Um yeah, I mean we are gonna play it slow. Oh, there is a Faramir from our opponent, and he's level 4. He's higher level than us. Oh, he's gonna use warning arrow. We have no heal. We need to be careful now. We can always enter this tower. Do you see that? You know, in the worst case, let's use Wanding Arrow first, but we need to be careful. Actually, let's peel back now because I don't want to lose my Faramir. That's going to cost us so much time. By the outpost. And put Faramir inside. This way he will be protected because we have no heal. And one more Wanding Arrow is going to be enough to finish our Faramir. And that's bad if this happens. Trust me on that one. Archer range, statue in a well. Sarcho for damage leadership. Can we get the last hit here? Come on. Yes. Dude, so lucky. <laughs> I love to see that. Alright, alright. Shoot at him, Faramir. Come on. But he was able to get the money. I mean, it's fine. Kinda, I guess. You can also put uh, Peregrine to inside the tower. Get out and use Warning Arrow. Come on. Warning Arrow, Warning Arrow, Warning Arrow. Uh, we want to be in the range to do that. And he's also healing up over time. So we need to be careful now. Our Faramir is still quite low. Okay, now we're gonna get always Grand Harvest first, which is gonna increase our, you know, resource income from the farms by 40%. That's a lot. Can I have some bacon? We mustn't let them close. We can also buy this outpost maybe, but right now we have no money. We need to try to, to get some ranges on the field as soon as possible. Very important. Strong units, reliable. They may be near. These paths shall remain safe. And at this outpost we have just purchased, we can actually build only farms. We've improved the smithing. And also what we can do is we can combine the archers later on with the soldiers. Oh, but we need to be careful. I mean, he has no armor, right? No, no, he has no armor, so we should be fine. We have damage leadership because of the statue. And Farami can also join the fight. Farami needs to be level 5 to unlock his leadership to make our units around Farami also stronger. 50% more armor you get from the leadership of Farami, by the way. Build a tower there, maybe. This way we can protect the farm behind our base, very important. This farm is going to be unfortunately taken down, but it's fine. We're going to build a tower for that. Because I don't want to lose the farm behind the base, that's going to be bad. And for the marketplace or for, for the Grand Harvest, it's very important to keep those farms also protected, you know? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save for 1,500. This way we can actually purchase the Iron Ore upgrade from the marketplace. That's going to increase the resource income from the blacksmiths by 20%. And then we can try to save for Gandalf. Mifrandia, Gandalf the White. We have almost the power points for Gandalf the White as well, which is quite nice. I like it. That must be the enemy. Okay. So, the plan is simple, uh, we need to protect those outposts as long as we can, and we have also some towers, we can put some arches inside those towers too. Uh, at, but ideally we want to save for the rangers. Rangers are way way stronger than those normal archers, and they are the best when it comes to put them inside a tower, or inside a citadel, okay? They, they're gonna shoot way way faster, pretty much. Boromir can also be recruited now. Boromir is nice because of the leadership, also because of the knockback, okay? Knock up. Or knocked down. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Something like that. We've improved the archery range. Okay, level 2 now. We're gonna save for the fire. I mean, I would like to save for Gandalf now, but I think we need some sort of protection, you know? You can also put some arches inside this other tower. Buy this farm bag with Faramir. And we have almost the money for the fire. We are getting a lot of money. And that's gonna even be better once our farms are hitting level 2, level 3, you know? You're gonna get so much money from the farms because of the Grand Harvest. Okay, 
So now we need to try to get our Boromir to level 4. Very important um, to unlock his damage leadership. That's going to make him, you know, not only stronger, but also the allied units around Boromir, the captain of Gondor, are going to deal way more damage. Okay, fire is purchased now, which is pretty nice. We can put those archers inside this tower. And I don't want to waste money and buy fire on these normal archers. Because money, I mean, we have a lot of money, but remember, we want to save also for... Uh, say it. We want to also save for Gandalf, you know? And the more upgrades we purchase on these units, the more delayed Gandalf is going to be. And I want to get Gandalf on the field as soon as possible. This way I can finally start playing a bit more aggressively. I'm actually afraid that he might attack our outpost very, very soon. We have not enough protection right now. We need to put these archers inside this tower. Oh, there he comes. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of Gondor Knights. Oh, oh, that's going to be tough for us. Trust me. <laughs> they don't take too much damage. He's also Faramir. Let's target Faramir with arrow first. Let's also target Faramir with the archers inside this tower. He's also using heal already, which is kind of fine for us because now he has no more sustain. We need to demolish the statue in time. They are taking way too much damage. We need to use heal to keep our heroes protected. We might be able to finish off Faramir, by the way. Faramir is taking a lot of damage. Can we finish him off, though? That's the question. Shoot at him. We have, an, yeah, we have almost one arrow back up. We can also use now the rangers inside the tower to attack him, maybe. Boromir is doing a nice job knocking them down. Pretty nice, pretty good. Oh, one more hit. Nice, we finished him off. That's huge. Nice one. And we will be also able to keep this outpost protected. But unfortunately, we lost our archery range. It means we won't be able to get any more rangers on the field any soon. But it's fine. We have now the money for Gandalf. And that's going to be our next hero on the list. Uh, when it comes to recruit Gandalf, you want to wait until Gandalf is on the field. Then you're going to purchase the power points um, from the spellbook, okay? That's very important. That's going to make the Wizard Plus available immediately. However, if you pick up the Gandalf the White power point from the spellbook before Gandalf camps, uh, your, Gandalf, uh, your Wizard Plus is going to be on cooldown, okay? Very important to keep something like this in mind. Okay. So, uh, we are going to demolish this well because we don't need it anymore. We can actually build one more farm or a blacksmith. I think blacksmith is going to be a better choice because that's going to reduce the cost of upgrades for our rangers. You know, remember the uh, blacksmith from Gonzo is giving us steel bonus. And steel bonus means the more blacksmiths you have, the cheaper your upgrades are going to become. While the farm is giving you food bonus. That's gonna make our Gondor Knights cheaper, but remember, the challenge is to not recruit any Gondor Knights this game. We must stay together. Rise! 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 So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look around, look around with Gandalf a bit, you know, try to deal some damage, try to get some levels on Gandalf. And in the meantime, we're gonna build a strong army with archers and rangers. We can actually go for a beautiful Vizaplas maybe. Oh, he's dodging, he's paying attention. Oh, oh, there is also Gandalf. Run, 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 run. Oh, he's going to use Lightning Sword, but I think we are going to be able to dodge. He's actually peeling back. We need to be careful now. I don't want to lose my Gandalf, guys. It would be the worst case scenario. Trust me on that one. Okay, let's put some archers inside. Just why not? We have a lot of money now. Give them also fire. This way they're going to deal more damage. And yeah, look at our base. We have only resource buildings and we can also buy heavy armor and I mean, we can buy everything pretty much because we have so much money now. So pretty good. I mean, we are in a good spot now with rangers inside the tower. Uh, Banakiri upgrades next. Just, you know, the thing is, guys, you need to always keep in mind, the money you have banked in your bank, pretty much at the bottom left side, is a waste. Okay. Kill Gandalf, come on. Warning arrow, archers inside focusing him down as well. Can we, can we finish him off? That's the question. He has to use heal now. He used heal in the last possible seconds. Can we finish him off? Come on. Please. Oh, that's unfortunate. We lost the tower too. Why don't you use light this word immediately? The only good thing here, by the way, is we were able to save our rangers, but the lightning sword was so delayed from our guns off. Remember, we are also offos in this game, okay, guys? Keep that in mind, please. Okay, we are making a great use of these uh, towers around the top side of the map, which is nice. We can use them as like a, like a tower, pretty much for free. 
That's gonna give us some protection. We need to get four archers on the field before we will be able to recruit any rangers. Keep that in mind. And once again, the rangers are way, way stronger than their Gonda archers. They are also shooting way, way faster than Gonda archers. Okay, I mean, the good thing is, we know that he has no more heal available. That means next time when he's gonna... I mean, let's go also. We have so much money, guys. We need to build something, you know? Once again, the money we have banked is kind of waste. Always spend your money into something, you know? And we're gonna, you know, just to feel safe, just to feel comfortable. We can also build now the Storm Worker for the Nomonorian Storm Work, for the laser towers to make them shoot like a truck. <laughs> and also to make our gate stronger. We have so much money, we can do whatever we want. But I don't want to lose too much time. Let's actually go for a potential attack. Uh, we have not enough protection around the top left side, but I believe this top right side outpost with the rangers inside uh, is actually in a safe spot. Trust me. Okay, so we have Faramir almost level 5, Boromir is still one level away from getting level 4, that's gonna unlock his leadership, we have Gandalf, and we have also heal advantage, which is massive. Okay, um, always keep something also for defense, you know, always have a plan B. Our plan B in this case is our Stormworker, or oh, we have to kill this Gandalf, he has no more heal, remember, right? Okay, we're gonna move now with Gandalf forward. And Hobbit, come on, Hobbit is also dealing a lot of damage, by the way. Let's use Lightning Sword, I mean, Easter Light, sorry, not Lightning Sword, to make sure that we can kill this Gandalf as soon as possible. He's taking way too much damage now. And I believe now, our Easter Light is gonna be also able to finish him off. He took so much damage, and remember, he has no heal. Keeping the cooldowns of your opponent in your mind is gonna help you to improve your gameplay quite a lot. I mean, that's gonna finish him off now, right? Yeah, Easter Light. Should be able to one-shot him now. There we go. And we got so much experience and power points too. Our Gandalf is almost level 7. We can actually kill everything here, right? Go for a Visa Plus, maybe? Boom! Sit down. Better Gandalf wins. Into the... Into the... Say it. Lightning Sword. They've also heal. I'm not worried about this situation. I want to just make sure that we don't take the Warning Arrow for no reason. We can use heal now. Because he was all about to use Warning Arrow, which would be enough to finish us, finish us off. But we are in a good spot now. Now we can actually turn and kill his uh, Faramir too. Let's use one warning arrow with Faramir. Hopefully we can get Boromir. Actually try to get Boromir close to the units. This way we can maybe get him to level 4. He's getting mounted but there is no escape. Unfortunately for us Boromir wasn't able to get any experience but that's fine. That's fine. Faramir is level 5 now which is really nice. Rebuy this outpost. And this time we can actually put some ranges inside of that, which is gonna be a better protection for this outpost with the statue behind. The statue behind means our units inside the outpost are gonna deal 100% more damage. That's double the damage, which is kind of insane if you ask me. Okay, now we have, um, I mean, I think we need to go for the Alvin Wood, because I don't know if you're ever gonna get trebuchets on the field. If you recruit some trebuchets, our combos, our, uni our units are gonna be bad. And in order to be able to purchase the Rohan Ally summon from the spellbook, we will have to get Alvin Wood, Alvin Wood first, okay? And once again, we are trying to win without a stable. And the only possible way for us to kill his trebuchets is going to be the Rohan ally summoned from the Spellbook of Gondor. We will protect these we okay, I mean, his Gandalf is still dead, so we can actually go for a move now. Go for an attack instead of wasting time. Uh, and we have also Faramir leadership now, which means our rangers are gonna be a bit tankier. But keep in mind that rangers are glass cannon units. They are not made to tank damage, okay? And also Gandalf is giving us armor, armor leadership, 50% from Gandalf, 50% from Faramir makes it 100%, so our rangers are gonna be kinda tanky, but not really. Because remember, they are not even able to purchase heavy armor, okay? So you can't make them really tanky, they are always gonna be glass cannons. We also need some trebuchets, why? Because of course we need to break the wall, eventually. And let's go for a big move, we have a lot of damage now. And once Boromir gets level 4, we're gonna be in a much, much better spot. The plan is simple. We're gonna try to, def um, we're gonna de try to destroy the outposts from our opponent at the bottom right side. This one. And this way we can actually build our outpost there and try to siege. 
you know, very important. And once we destroy this outpost, we are going to be in a good spot. He has also a lot of money. He has many, many outposts, um, you know, of course, many, many farms untouched for the majority of the game. But trust me on that one, we have still more money unless he was also building the marketplace. Marketplace is a long time investment. It's not going to pay you out immediately, but the longer the game goes on, the more effective it is going to be. We must move. Okay, we have a lot of damage now. Look at our money, guys. I mean, if everything goes wrong, we have enough money to actually rebuy everything we just might potentially lose. Hopefully, we're not going to lose anything. And hopefully, this is going to be the game-winning push now. Do not pause. I mean, he has to react to this play. If he doesn't, it's going to be hard for him to defend because we will have so much damage leadership with the statue behind. We have also now some ranges. We're going to put them inside the outpost for some more protection. Uh, statue behind always this way he can't target that immediately that's very important don't build your statue in the front side in which it can be taken down actually let's check the bottom right corner if the troll is still around this area if yes we can use bottom here to kill him but no 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 he was already creeping this one okay uh oh he's going for the attack uh, is this gandalf back in the business i don't see gandalf on the field so we can actually use our um Guns off to actually potentially kill those units as soon as possible. Our rangers are still hitting very hard, but they have now the shield upgrade from their stable, which is going to make them really tanky against arrows. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we have units at the bottom right. Outpost, Boromir, Faramir are leading the army from Gonzo, and Gandalf is going to be on his shadow facts, hunting some Gondor knights from our opponent. And our Gandalf is already level 7 too, so very, very strong. This outpost is going to be taken... Uh, okay, we can actually finish them off maybe with Easter Light. Let's see. Can we kill them both? Is there deal splash damage? Yes, we were able to kill the level 5 Condonite. Now we can go for a Visa Plus maybe against this Condonite too. But cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. We would be missing that one. We're going to lose this outpost, but that's fine. We can use now the Lightning Sword. Nah, no, not, not Lightning Sword. Can we kill them? That's the question. We have laser arrows, as you can see. One more hit, come on. One more hit, Gandalf. Please. Please. Pew, <laughs> Gandalf. And you are even able to save the outpost too, which is over in the meantime. Holy guacamole, he's coming. We need to use Rohirrim now to kill the trebuchets, guys. Trust me. Oh my goodness. He kills so much with one hit. Yes, Boromir, Farami, everyone. We need, and even tower guards. We need to try to kill those um, units, I mean, these trebuchets as soon as all the visa plus from him was actually on point. Can we kill those trebuchets? If we can't, we can't win this fight, trust me. Okay, we one more, come on. Nice, we killed all the trebuchets, very nice, very important. And if he keeps chasing us, we can potentially kill his Gandalf once again. Use one arrow. Our rangers inside are dealing so much damage, trust me on that one. We lost Boromir, unfortunately, but it's, you know, it is how it is. Can now go for a, for a Easter light against him to finish him off. I don't know if he has heal or not, but if he has no heal, he will be dying. Okay, he has heal. But he's still taking the damage from the rangers and he's gone. Okay, I was on point. I don't need to use heal now. We can go for a Visa Plus right after. Be careful with Farami, don't lose him. Visa Plus it. Nice, beautiful. Let's peel back. We have heal in the worst case scenario. I'm not worried about the situation too much. We can use heal, right? There we go. Heal. And he's taking so much damage now from the trebuchet. We can now target his Farami potentially. Yeah, his Farami is gonna die with the second we are targeting him. We can also use one arrow against him. He's gonna die. Our rangers inside are hitting very hard. Trust me on that one. One arrow. Is it necessary though? No, it's not even necessary. Level 7. GG's being called. He's asking for re. Let's give him a re. And better Gandalf wins, ladies and gentlemen. The challenge accomplished. No Gondor Knights all game long. Heroes. Some archers, rangers, and mainly Gandalf was the way the key to victory i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content like this i see you next time until then take care of yourselves and as always stay beyond standards peace guys